This is a help guide on how to install Davis Vantage Connect with Vantage PRO2 Weather Station. Let's start. First thing to do is to Select your installation location. Make sure it's an open area or exposed to ground level. In this installation we'll be using an optional Davis tripod. As an alternative you can use pole or wood. Ensure pole is located in the foot plate. This optional Davis tripod comes with 50 cm lag bolts. Do not insert them fully in the ground at this stage. Let's prepare your Vantage Connect device. Important reminder. Take note of your Vantage Connect device ID and key. Your device ID and key is printed in upper right of the manual. Pull the two locker to open your Vantage Connect device. These are the device indicator guide and FAQs. Before we power on Vantage Connect device let's register an account to weatherlink.com. Now open your browser. and visit www.weatherlink.com then sign up enter your email address your preferred username your first name and your last name then click next Enter your preferred password. Then solve the CAPTCHA. Then click next and create account. Then click on Get Started. Weatherlink.com account has been created. Now let's add your device. Click the Add Device button. And select Vantage Connect to install. Now enter your device station name. Select your device usage. Then enter your device ID. Your device key. And your device activation code. Just proceed and click next until you finished the install setup dialog. After this we can proceed now to power on the Vantage Connect device.
Let's connect battery terminal and power cable. Plug the battery power cable. And plug the main power cable. Wait for all LEDs to appear steady. If all LEDs indicate green then Vantage Connect device is ready to install outside. Let's now mount Vantage Connect device on the tripod. Normally, it's best to mount on the lower section of the pole. Important to orientate Vantage Connect solar panel. All solar panels should face south. After Vantage Connect is installed let's also prepare the Vantage PRO2 ISS, or weather station. Let's start by removing the solar panel cover. Pull the white paper wood in the battery compartment. Ensure battery connections are in place. And close the solar panel cover. Now let's prepare the anemometer. Install nuts and U-bolts into anemometer base. Mount anemometer on the top of pole. Tighten and secure. Important note. Slide cable through notch and make sure cable is secure in channel. Tighten and secure anemometer nuts and bolts. After that remove arrow cone for easy installation on the tripod. Now let's mount ISS on the pole. Finger tighten nuts and bolts of ISS. Take note of the cable tie on the rain spoon. We will cut cable tie at the end of installation. Then, let's install anemometer on the tripod. Now let's align anemometer. Use a compass to ensure anemometer arm is facing through north. Clamp the pole and tripod together. Ensure that no movement of the pole. Now let's finalize leveling tripod. Use the bubble gauge on the rain gauge base as your guide. Also adjust the level of solar radiation sensor. Use the three sprung screws for adjusting. Route the anemometer cable. Thread the anemometer cable through top of the radiation shield housing. 
We will now set up arrow cone. Insert the debris screen with spikes. Insert the remaining spikes on the rain gauge. Cut the cable tie on the rain spoon. Let's put the arrow cone to ISS base. Job well done. Installation of Vantage Connect device is finished. Now verify your weatherlink.com bulletin is updated or uploading data. Thank you for watching. Again, this is a help guide on how to install Davis Vantage Connect with Vantage PRO2 Weather Station.